old calling, whether you have fear of stepping into new situations, your biology is going to manifest that fear in a different way. So the more techniques that you have, and, and I'll, sometimes as I'm going throughout a day, I'll be trying, and I'm, I'm constantly learning new ones, almost every day. And so I'll, I'll try different ones, and I'll throw them out, and I'll, I'll give them to some of my clients and see which ones stick. Some of them, they get it right away. And I'm like, that never worked on me. So again, it's honoring the truth. You're not a statistic. I'm not a statistic. And, and, and as much as we like to classify and order people because it makes us feel safe, and that's what we do. We, we organize and classify in order to feel safe. It, it doesn't serve you. It doesn't, it, it doesn't give you the best interest. So if this technique that I just showed you felt good, do it. If it felt annoying and bothersome to your system, don't. That's where you tune into your body yes and your body no. And those are the kind of things that people say, well, how do I tune into my body yes and my body no? Lindy actually has some, some techniques that you shared a while ago that I remember that were very good in terms of turn, tuning into a body yes and body no's. The one that I'll typically do with my clients is that I'll ask them to tune into something they like. I will give them a guided imagery. What do you like? Oh, I like eating a diet of chocolate. Okay. <laughs> well, let's drop into that kinesthetically. What does that feel like when you're eating your Godiva chocolate? I want you to tune into your body. Where do you feel that in my feeling in my stomach? And also my face, because I'm usually smiling when I'm eating the Godiva chocolate. <laughs> and so, so they'll say different things. So it's the Godiva chocolate. And there's actually a pattern by Richard Bandler called the, the Godiva chocolate pattern, which I shared on a call last night, which is a, uh, an incredible technique to use. But getting back to the experience of something that you like, think of something that you like, relax into it, activate all of your senses. What does it feel like, look like, sound like, taste like? Just activate it, step into it, and get that feeling. That's a body yes. That's something I like. I like that. That feels good to me. And then you can you can expand it out of the chocolate, particularly the dark chocolate's good for you, but if, I, but if my clients are like, I like sitting down and eating a whole sleeve of Oreos, I'll say, all right, let's do a little reframing with that. Let's choose something that's not only something you like, but something that's good for you. So, well, I like to, me personally, I love to, to start my day exercising. And some people, that's drudgery. Yeah. So, so, no. that, I'm feeling stressed so, right now. Like, get back to the talk. Aiming yeah. that at me. Exactly. Awkward. So, so I like to exercise. It jump starts my system. And I know, I know Lindy's the same way. That's why we do, do what we do. However, that's not the case for everybody. But tune into it. Tune into something you like that's good for you. Then you tune into something that you don't like that's unhealthy for you. And then, I, and, and then you tune into that. What does that look like? What does that feel like? What does that sound like when you're, when you're in a situation like that? And perhaps it, it, it's connected to one of your fears or phobias. Well, I don't like flying. Where do you feel it? Where do you feel it? And, and you visualize, OK, I'm walking on the plane. OK, stop. Check in with your body. Where do you feel it? Start getting a knot in my stomach. Start getting trepidatious. So, so you, you start to tune into your biology. Because our biology gives us all of the messages that we need. Because it's, it's constantly talking to us. Go here. Stay there. Stop. Go. Listen. You, you know what I'm talking about is, and some people refer to it as intuition, inner knowing. I refer to it as God speaking. I will hear it and respond. So my prayer throughout the day is, dear God, shorten the lag time between when I hear and when I respond so that it's a continual flow. Go here. Nope. Don't go there. Go here. Talk to this person. Call this person. You know this to be true because you guys get the phone calls right before you're thinking about the person and they call you. It's very powerful and the more you honor it, the more it grows. This is, this is expanding your, your biology's ability to melt into the soul portion of your existence, which, by the way, is your main fuel. Either stress comes when you flip it, when you are moving from the outside in versus the inside out, when you are seeking your fulfillment, the need to be seen, acknowledged, recognized, approved of, Acknowledged. Last night we were, we were talking about moving a project forward. How do you move a project forward and what keeps you stuck from that? What keeps you stuck is that you're not aligned with what you value most. You've gotten off track because you, you want to be on TV. You, you, want, to, you want to be in, in a magazine. You want, you want people to see. You want to be promoted. And so that became your motive. Your motive became infu infused with selfish ambitions. When, when that happens, God created us to, it, to backfire. And it happens all the time. Because even if you do get that spot on TV or that 
whatever it is that you're going for, then there's that letdown. Okay, now what? Now what can I get on the outside of me to charge me? Then the stress starts to increase. So, so truly the work that I'm called to do is to guide people back to themselves as connected to God. Go in. Go back in. Because it's, the, it's like the, uh, the French uh, mystic priest, Chardin, who said we're first and foremost spiritual beings having a physical experience. We're not physical beings trying to figure out the whole spiritual yeah. element to it. So as with all portions and as, as with what Carrie was saying, synergistically, we're all connected. Where does it start, though? It starts at the gate of your thoughts, what you were thinking. What, I, I've worked with clients before who have a death threat. They, they say, I have one year to live. Or they say, I have uh, six months to live. Well, where did you come up with that conclusion? Well, that's, I just know that that's the case. So be very careful, because studies show and the studies have shown again and again that if you say you have six months, your Earth suit's out of here in six months. It starts to shut down. It's self-fulfilling prophecy. Right. And it's very, very powerful. The cool thing is, and this is a stress relief technique that you can use it at any time, and you can use it when you're woken up with the hot flashes in the middle of the night. I've done it myself. I kind of went through a, a different form of menopause because of the two years of the chemo, so I was jolted into instant menopause. 